Australia, gas the Jews, F the Jews. Um, I never thought in my lifetime, we've known each other a long time, one issue we never disagreed on was the issue of Israel. I never thought I'd hear this type of rhetoric in my life, especially after what happened in World War II and Nazi Germany. But and I, I don't use that analogy I, look, lightly. I agree. But this it sounds is not just like pro Palestine. This is not pro Palestine. This is pro Hamas, which is anti Palestine. The worst enemy that the Palestinian people have is Hamas. These kids are Hitler youth. These are the same kind of people who brought Hitler to power in 1933, Castro to power. Pol Pot to power, Mao Tse Tung to power, just because they're young doesn't mean they're not extremely, extremely dangerous. What they're doing is providing aid to a terrorist organization. Can you imagine a university allowing people to have a parallel chant to From the River to the Sea? Imagine them saying, from the Atlantic to the Indian Ocean, South Africa will be free of blacks, and let's return South Africa to white apartheid rule. Not a single student would be allowed to stay at the university. Or what if students said, we are the KKK? What if a group of white supremacists said, we are the KKK? This is not about freedom of speech. This is about a double standard. The diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucracy is the incubator for anti-Semitism at every major university in the United States. And as long as we maintain the DEI intersectionality, we're not getting to the heart of the problem. It is destroying American universities. It is fomenting anti-Semitism. It's fermenting anti-Americanism. Scratch an anti-Israeli, scratch an anti-Semite, and you find an anti-American. That's why these people are sharing chanting death to America. This is anti-American. This is subversive. This is an attempt to really overthrow the government of the United States.